So we have a problem in front of us. We're looking at right triangle trigonometry and an application problem. So a lot of times you might be driving and you see, might see one of those surveyors on the side of the road, or you may want, if you have a property, figure out where your property line is. And this can be done with trigonometry. So looking at the following, we're trying to find the width of the river. We have a surveyor and they can measure the width of the river by setting up a transit at a point. And that's called at point C on one side of the river and taking a siding of a point A on the other side. So we have a picture over here of our river. We have here our point C. And across the river, we have our point A. So then it states that after turning through an angle of 90 degrees at C, the surveyor walks a distance of 300 meters to point B. Using the transit at B, the angle theta is measured and found to be 30 degrees. So what is the width of the river round to the nearest meter? So if the picture wasn't given, I would draw a picture. We got point B, we got point A. 90 degrees, he walks 300 meters to point B. And we wanna find this length right here. And they found that they used an angle of 30 degrees from point B to look at point A. And so when you're doing these, think about which trigonometric function that we should use. We're trying to find the opposite of 30 degrees, which is X, and we know the adjacent side. So I would think to myself, self, which trigonometric function uses opposite and adjacent? And I would tell myself, well, tangent does, Erica. So it's tangent of 30 degrees. This is equal to the opposite side, which is x, all over the adjacent side, which is 300. So we can get x by itself by multiplying both sides of our equation by 300. So we get x is equal to. 300 tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of 30 degrees, this one is the root three over three. Three goes into 300 evenly a hundred times. So the exact answer would be a hundred root three meters. but they wanted us to round to the nearest meter. So multiplying 100 times root three, we get that as approximately 173, 173.2. The two would keep the three the same. So this is approximately 173 meters. <laughs> 